Relationships, unknown person. The profiler holds all known information on those we investigate. The file you have opened is for our main suspect. The blue hair the blue haired woman that the CCTV footage shows before the assault is no stranger to the police. Take a look at the arrest record. Um, where would that be? Yeah, you sure know a lot about them. Wow, I would really like to take a look at their arrest record. Where the hell is it? You'd think it would be in background. Watergate Cassandra. Rest record. The highlighted elements in the record are pieces of the data that are able to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. Hovering over data chunks will reveal their relevance to the case and any connections or information it may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into a profile to upload them to our servers. Arrest date, July 10th, 2016. Assault on a police officer. Arresting officer Duncan Lloyd. Bonton Central PD. Very good. Pictures and names are crucial information for Orwell to identify a person. No shit. Information and documents can only become a data chunk when it can be clearly assigned to a target person. And the reason for Miss Watergate's prior arrest that has just been unlocked. We will need this info to progress. Thank you. Suspect was arrested on site. Okay, new document. I wanted to read the thing. Do I believe in coincidence? I do not. Find data revealing where she attacked the police officer and you will see what I mean. Okay, well anyway. Suspect was arrested on site after Officer Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. The protesters at the origin of the assault were forcibly moved where the suspect was found kneeling and weeping on the ground. When asked to lay on the ground with her hands behind her back, the suspect cooperated immediately. newspaper of the nation. Fast recital. Is this woman a terrorist? Woman allegedly injured a police officer two weeks ago. Remains in custody. Trial scheduled for August. Cassandra W. Simple protester or anti-governmental terrorist? Bonton. The case that keeps the media and the public guessing. Cassandra W. Pictured above. Who had allegedly injured a police officer several severely two weeks ago is being held in police custody. Yeah, it's really the bond, bonden, bonden. The young woman is accused of having hit the victim's head with a large brick. The incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza as part of a demonstration against the newest amendments to the government's model project, the Safety Bill. Due to the chaotic nature of the scene, police have not yet been able to connect the crime to the accused Cassandra W., who is an artist by profession has denied the accu Cassandra W Cassandra W who is an artist by profession has denied the accusations completely and has asked her fans to show their support a trial has now been scheduled for mid August the case received nationwide attention when Catherine Delacroix secretary of security labeled the alleged perpetrator alongside the other rioters as anti-governmental terrorists
exact same location as the assault. Then she turns up right before the explosion, surely not a coincidence. As you know, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we're really dealing with. Oh yes, one who does street art by blowing memorials to pieces by any chance? Great, you found another document. Before we go on, let's clarify your job and how it affects mine, shall we? You have extracted all the info I already knew about Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going into this case blind. The Orwell Ethical Codex dictates that investigators like yourself are the only ones allowed to access documents of target persons. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators. We will then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important, never giving away incorrect or misleading data. You may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass on to Orwell, however, some... Excuse me. I <laughs> know, really, he, he really is. Any, of course, that's why I'm still going to call him Siamese instead of Sims or Sims or whatever the fuck his name is. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress on the case. Progress. Okay. Anyway. Cassandra's portfolio. Portfolio. Harboring outstanding art. Artist port. Welcome to the port of Cassandra Watergate. Hi, I'm Cassie, a colorful inhabitant of Wonderland right behind the rainbow. Glad you found me. Finally found the courage to quit my dull day job, focus on my art career, and put my stuff on portfolio. Below, you will find a hand-picked selection of my latest works. You can browse them by clicking on the arrows on the left and right side of the pictures below. See something you like? Why, of course you do, because it's freaking awesome, isn't it? Leave a message on my Utel account, the Cassie92, and tell me which piece you'd like. I'm gonna make a fine art print and ship it right away to your doorstep. Best thing, free of charge. Now off you go and have fun. <coughs> Kitties. My beloved furball, Kikiko. Definitely the only family I need. Yup, that beaut is me. I was never sure about the title, though. The Businessman's Forgotten Daughter or Victim of Traditionalism in Pink? What do you say? A Christmas present for my darling. This was actually meant to be a private piece, but oh well. I'd have a hard time keeping it to myself. Okay. <laughs> All right, <laughs> this one, this one's, this one's, uh, this is her address. I'm gonna put this as, can I, can I pick that that's her address? Yes, in Wonderland. <laughs> so you're under the impression that our wonderful Miss Watergate is really living in Wonderland? Somehow, I doubt that. Call it intuition. Well, fuck you, Siamese, I'm having fun. People's lives are hanging in the balance here. What if you pass me something I cannot identify as wrong so easily? Well, it serve you fucking right, Siamese. You've got to be more careful next time around. But I don't want it to be wrong. I'm hoping it's supposed to get, like, more interesting as time goes on. I don't know. Okay, so she quit her dull day job. Hmm, interesting. We should find out what that job was. I don't give a shit. So that's her Utel thing. Good, you found a chat handle. That would allow us to overhear any conversation on that account. What, just by having the damn name? Jesus. <gasps> Siamese. <laughs> The listener has now been unlocked. New conversations will appear whenever they are started. Totally not important, but I'm putting it. Daughter of entrepreneurs. Of course. I'm sure that's true. Ooh, it's a Christmas present. 
she's in a relationship. Session. Unknown person. Hey, you. Hey, Jossie! I can't seem to find my credit card. I assume you took it, right? Uh, you got me, Sherlock. They type real slow. I'm in the middle of buying all of Bonton with that platinum card I lifted from your desk. Can't stop me now. Well, luckily for you, I don't mind you going on a splurge as long as you pick up some wine for dinner. <laughs> wine? What does Joseph Langley, my fearless attorney, and all that round and all round badass have in mind this time? Perhaps just a business call from one of his favorite clients? Actually, yes, that is exactly what's going to happen. Very serious business, Cassandra. I thought as much. Guess I better pick up shitloads of wine. You'll just have to get this client of yours pretty buzz to handle all that business. One bottle should be fine. She's a lightweight. Oh, whatever. I guess I shouldn't pick up some of those party pills from Big Pharma, a.k.a. my parents, then. Oh, come on. I was only teasing. Speaking of your parents, when are you going to tell them about us? Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Gotta go now. <laughs> Text you later. XOXO. What <laughs> does Joseph Langley, my fearless ass, have in mind? Oh. Alright. Whatever. If you're able to find out who she's talking about, we could lock it for the owner. Totally misleading. She didn't really she didn't really steal it, but I'm just gonna I mean she stole it, but she didn't Wait, she stole the credit card of her lawyer? Really? Well we should be able to track the credit card of this Langley down and lock it for him. He doesn't want it locked. Done. No really, no need to thank me, Mr. Langley. You have now have a profile for a related person. It can be accessed via the profiler. Data chunks will only appear for targeted persons and can only be extracted into their relative, relevant profiles. Dude, I'm just totally fucking her over. I bet she didn't do anything. Watergate. Pharma entrepreneurs. That does ring a bell. I'm just fucking her over on purpose now. I don't even care. Where's the profiler? Fuck, I don't even know. What's that? Whatever. Procedure closing raises manipulation suspicions. Investigation into the malicious injury of a police officer has been dropped due to lack of evidence. Speculated that the accused parents manipulated the trial. We're well informed, Leans. For instance, that you just encountered conflicted data chunks. Whenever the contents of two data chunks are at odds with one another, those will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the others will become invalid immediately. I highly recommend that you clarify the context of the conflict before you proceed, but this is your decision. Once the information has been parsed, there is no way to reverse your choice. Um, the case being closed due to lack of evidence yesterday. However, the case might be reopened should... Oh, did I even... Okay. The case that has been at the center of media attention for the last month has finally come to an end. Cassandra W. was acquitted of the alleged assault against a police officer before the trial took place, with the case being closed due to lack of evidence yesterday. However, the case might be reopened should new evidence be discovered. The suspect's lawyer, Joseph Langley, pictured above, welcomed this outcome. At no point has there ever been any valid evidence that my client was guilty. At no point at all. 
the review defense attorney commented during a post-trial press gathering. The defense successfully brought video evidence depicting the incident in question, which eventually turned the tide of the proceedings. Meanwhile, the relatives of the victim expressed their disappointment on hearing the result of the lawsuit. They openly voiced their concerns that the wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome in her favor. The victim, a father of two young sons, was rushed into hospital after the incident in mid-July, where he is still in an induced coma, unresponsive to treatment. Okay, so do I fuck her over even more by saying her family influenced the outcome, or do I say the case was closed due to lack of evidence? I'm real tired of these frames dropping. It goes, warning, drop frames detected. Your stream quality may be affected. No shit. You're the one, you're the program doing the streaming. Why don't you stop dropping some fucking frames? That's what I want to know. Do the fun answer. Let's just screw her over. Oh, now this is a severe accusation. He gets off on it. Based on this, we could take action against her parents if we had their names. Siamese. Watergate Pharmaceuticals. Products. Watergate Pharmaceuticals enriches lives with our industry-leading range of products, making an important contribution to your well-being. Methrin Blue. Below, you will find a small selection of our most popular products. A hexodal slash a hexodal forte. Cough drops that fight against irritation of the throat based on natural herbs. Compensum. Activating pills against migraines and strong headaches. Focusin. Fuck you, Sin! Um, medications that increases concentration and cerebral performance. For rule, for rule, for rule. Active. Medication for the alleviation of arthritic joint pain. Methrin, antidepressant, helps stabilize your emotions. Spiron, all around painkiller that dissolves in water. Simarol and night. Soothing pills for a good night's rest against occasional sleeping problems and for acute application when suffering from insomnia. Company. The name Watergate has been inseparable from progression and improvement of pharmaceutical research for more than 80 years. Watergate Pharmaceuticals is one of, is one of the nation's leading companies in the area of medicine, and at the same time is the largest medication exporter to all areas of the world. The business Watergate Pharmaceuticals, Inc. has been in the hands of the Watergate family, owning and managing the firm ever since its foundation in 1931. Bruno Watergate? Why wouldn't it let me add their names? Watergate, Chief Executive Officer. The CEO of Watergate Pharmaceuticals, Inc. is Bruno Watergate, grandson of our founder, Edgar Watergate. Apart from working in the family business, Mr. Watergate is also the founder of Central Pharmacy Congress and head of charity foundation Children of Pardigas. Dr. Alice Watergate, head of research and development. Dr. Alice Watergate, co-partner of the firm with her husband, Bruno, holds a PhD in biology and chemistry. She leads research and development in lab laboratories here at Watergate Pharmaceuticals. Cassandra Watergate, with much more boring hair. Carrying the family tradition to the next generation, Alice and Bruno's daughter, Cassandra, will soon be joining the executive ranks. Her business acumen and unique flair will write the next chapter of our 85-year strong legacy. Pointed to be COO. Cool of a pharmaceutical company, probably, by one of her parents. Being an artist and a junior coo seems quite odd. She also mentioned that she had quit a dull job, didn't she? Thank you, Siamese, for that brilliant deduction. What is this? Ah, oh, now I see. Keeping it a family affair. <laughs> Watergate von Boringer. We know her parents. We can begin investiga investigating the corruption allegations. Good work. 
documents that you've already reviewed may be updated from time to time as events unfold. The reader will notify you when that happens. The National Beholder just published a new article. You may want to take a look and see if there's any new information available. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. I get it now. Crime rate continues to drop. Bonton, the Ministry of Security, has presented latest numbers on crime statistics in the country. Never before have there been so few violent crimes. Interesting. On Thursday morning, the Ministry of Security published the new crime statistic report for the preceding year. According to the report, the number of recorded criminal offenses decreased by 4.8% in comparison to last year. The crime rates have been continuously declining over the past several years as a direct result of the implementation of the safety bill. Secretary of Security Catherine Delacroix appeared very pleased by these numbers and declared this development an outstanding result of successful safety policy. When confronted with the recent assault in Bonton, she once again admitted the ambitious goals of the government have not yet been accomplished. She further mentioned that activities are currently being established, which will have considerable impact preventing further incidents. The party. Mm, our principles put into action. The safety bill. Here we're going to find out that it's not a good thing that you can just dig into people's lives like this. Oh my gosh, I'm so surprised. Um, the safety bill is a collection of safety-centered laws and statutes created with the ultimate goal to protect the freedom of the nation's citizens. Central to the safety bill is the simplified, sped-up process of taking investigative measures against criminal suspects and their prosecution, as well as the provision of an increased budget for safety-related expenses. The safety bill also paved the way for stricter regulations concerning immigration and general travel into or transitioning through the nation. It also became mandatory to inform employers whenever an applicant or employee is an ex-convict or otherwise regarded potentially dangerous. Since the safety bill has come into effect in 2011, the total numbers of acts of crimes and terrorism committed have been decreasing continuously and the trend is ongoing to date. The part is peacekeeping mission. The terrorist incident of 2008 was the terrible consequence of the premature retreat of our troops from Fargus, a region torn by civil unrest for years. By the order of the previous government to fix our predecessor's mistakes, the party, when elected in 2009, immediately made preparations to send our highly reliable soldiers back to safeguard the region for the good of the inhabitants of both countries alike. Indeed. After the Parge's peacekeeping mission has been signed in 2011, our troops were sent off to the neighboring country to perform tasks including the distribution of aid packages containing food in addition to health and hygiene products to the mostly impoverished population, the rebuilding of infrastructure, particularly hospitals and schools, upholding the law and order and public order alongside the removal of war relics and as anti-personnel mines or unexploded bombshells, training to local police and military forces. Due to recent stabilization in the Parge's, we have been able to reduce the number of station forces while leaving the overall goals of the peacekeeping mission intact. Ooh, nobody cares. Alright. People. Oh. The leaders of the nation, Robert Blaine, Prime Minister. Prime Minister Blaine, as much remarkable visionary as unmatched leader, is a member of the party in the fourth generation. While the surprising death of the previous leader of the party... Mrs. Goddard left behind a power vacuum, it was the young Robert Blaine who stepped up and was elected as the new head unanimously. So in the end, do we find out that Robert Blaine murdered Mrs. Goddard? Is that, is that the end game? Just as in this exemplary case, Mr. Blaine will take initiative, will take initiative whenever possible and is sure not to relent until the party's ambitious goals have been achieved. Arthur Scott Gallagher, Secretary of Economy and Trade. Mr. Gallagher, one of the most seasoned members of the party, is in charge of the Ministry of Econom Economy and Trade. As such, he is directly responsible for reduced tax levels for big and medium-sized corporations, as well as the resulting decline of the unemployment rate. Catherine Delacroix, Secretary of Security. <clears throat> The Ministry of Security, dedicated to the purpose of improving the nation's safety on the interior, was formed directly after the elections in 2009, just as originally proposed by Catherine Delacroix. Mrs. Delacroix was subsequently granted the position of the first Secretary of Security. She is best known for the inception of the Safety Bill, elevating security standards in this country to a new level. Peter Faulkner, 
Secretary of Defense. The Commander-in-Chief of the nation's forces does not tire to stress the importance of stability in the nation's neighboring countries. To that end, Mr. Faulkner created the Pages Parges Peacekeeping Mission, which played a key role in the prevention of terrorist activity on the nation's soil. Excuse me. Positions are five pillars for a great nation. This looks disturbingly like every white supremacy ad I've ever seen. And also like someone I knew in high school. Safety and security. We firmly believe in strict safety regulations and mechanisms to preserve the life and well-being of every individual. Economy and commerce. A strong economy equals a strong society. This is why we strive for constant healthy growth, values, and tradition. Our cultural origins, as well as the significance of family and communal life, must be cherished. Migration and foreign affairs. Gating immigration from... Gating immigration from and intervening in foreign countries is a necessity to uphold law and order in our own. Education and health. Rock solid education. That means they're only going to teach geology. And healthcare systems are the foundations of a great future. <laughs> Next thing I know, this is going to start playing that video. White people are cool. White people care about trees. Why do white people grow so much food? Mm. Become a part of the party. I should have done all this in a Scottish accent, but it's too late now. There are many ways in which you can contribute contribute to the nation's success. Becoming involved in the party is a huge one. <laughs> You're a huge one. If you are willing to give your all for a brighter future of the nation and consequently all of the world, come and join us. Find out how. Donate. Grateful for donations. Safe and positively conservative nation. Volunteer. Topics that matter the most to you and your family. Become a member. Life-altering calling. Represent the party. Communal or national. Join the army of the nation. Direct service of the homeland. Stabilize and get enlisted now. Okay. This, this didn't even really help me. is here. Oh, jobs. Okay. Watergate Pharmaceuticals is currently looking for suitable candidates at the following positions. Chief Operating Officer. We are urgently looking for a Chief Operating or whatever. Yeah. We get it. Or maybe I was wrong and nothing stays in the family. Ouch. Well, she quit. Yeah, Siamese. You don't Currently, I'm thinking that our Miss Watergate underwent quite a radical change. Don't you agree? Sure. Let's find out what happened in between these two lives of her. What may hers may what may have caused this radical shift? Well, I don't see anything suspicious. Language proficiency in English, French, and Chinese desirable. A traditionally oriented character. reading all this. I'm sorry. Expect postgraduate biology chemistry, biochemistry. This is making me feel bad about job applications. Was there something else? No, I didn't think so. Alright, Cassandra's timeline. You're invited to the tea inside the rabbit hole. Timelines, Cassandra Watergate, pop artist and free thinker. Birthday, September 13th, 1992. No place of residence. That's because she lives in Wonderland, right behind the rainbow. Interests, art, music, and activism. Art, music, activism? What a lineup. This really is so blatant. But you know, maybe if you're like a conservative playing this, this will all be totally shocking. 
Like, you don't understand any of the buzzwords. You think that sounds normal, and then... <gasps> you mean people that say that kind of thing are bad? Meanwhile, as liberal trash... This is the brief ASMR portion of our stream. <sighs> oh, what time is it? Mm. Oh yeah, definitely TM. Cassandra likes the targets, painting, Alice in Wonderland, and my cat Kikiko. Sandra Watergate posted on March 1st, 2017 at 11.11am. 11, 11 Woohoo! First day in freedom, far away from the shackles of Watergate Pharma. Jake Clefton. What? Who's going to pay for your stuff now? Mommy and Daddy won't like this. Listen, Jake, I am not Daddy's little girl anymore. My art already got me a lot of money, more than enough to pay all my bills. Don't you worry about me. Sandra Watergate posted on January 29, 2017 at 7.45 p.m. Despised puppets of the state, you have finally managed to destroy us entirely. There is nothing left to do but to congratulate you. These are my personal wishes from the deepest abyss of my heart. Fuck all of you government lackeys. Most painfully, Cassandra. I'm totally fucking her over. Well, well, Miss Watergate, we aren't too fond of you either. Fuck off, Siamese. Mary Blythe, sweetie, what is the matter? That totally doesn't sound like you. We haven't hung out for ages. You gotta get out from time to time. You feel much better. Mary, just shut your freaking mouth, okay? I am not in the mood for your stupid act. I told you again and again I cannot deal with this right now. Mary. Okay, you know what? I'm really sorry that I still care about my best friend, no matter how often she decides to give me the cold shoulder, but in that case, that's in the past now. What does this conflict with? Cassandra Watergate changed the status on August 22nd, 2016. Cassandra is in a relationship with Joseph Langley. Cassandra Watergate posted on August 10th, 2016 at 5.05pm. The Beholder actually wrote about me being freaking redeemed of this shit. But surprise, surprise, they had to mention the speculations over my parents buying me out. Makes the click counts go boom, doesn't it? Mm. <laughs> yeah, she's got some, some daddy issues happening. Mary Bly. At least you're redeemed now. Want to blow off steam together with a little late night shopping tour? Not today. I have a date this evening. Oh, who is the lucky one? Cassandra Watergate posted on August 9th. Case closed. Congratulations, I never had any doubts about it. Kiddo, you're my heroine. In both the heroic and drug way. A thousand cams on the plaza, but no proof. We've shown the world this dirty surveillance machinery only exists to intimidate and to mislead the people into believing false promises. Cams for safety? One big lie. Juliet Carrington. Wow, I'm so happy for you. I knew everything would be okay in the end. Should we have an awesome Cassandra Freedom Party on Friday? Thank you, guys. I am so happy. I am sure you heard the load fall off my mind. At Harrison. Yeah, I will totally write an article on our blog at Juliet. Of course, I am so in. New profile picture. That concert was amazing. So amazing that I just had to give my hair a little makeover. So without further ado, how do you like it? This is this is exhausting. OMG, what happened to your beautiful hair? says Mary. Why didn't you ask me before going to a stylist? We could have gone together. Uh Cassie's going punk. Did mommy and daddy agree with that? says Jake. 
Looks nice. That's a whole new you knew. You knew. What the one of them? Juliet Carrington says. Looks nice. That's a whole new you. You'll also need a new name then. What about Cassarthus? That's clever. Me likey, says Cassandra. So henceforth, says Juliet, Cassandra will be known to the world as Cassarthus. Harrison O'Donnell. That's the spirit, kiddo. Now I'd like to invite you to our little activist group if you want to join us. It would be nice to have you with us for the Protect on the Freedom Plaza on Friday. I mean, doesn't that guy just scream cowboy to you? Okay. Just discovered this hot new band, The Targets, says Cassandra. Man, do they rock hard. Less than three. They're playing a concert in the cell next week. Who's coming along? Mary, I am looking at you. Uh, punks? Not really my style. Sorry, Cass. Can't we just go see Cherry Cheeks sometime? Cassandra. They're not just some punks. Their lead singer is a real cutie, and they have this cool guitarist girl. Plus, they've got a message. What's not to like? Mary. No, sorry. It's not for me. Cassandra. Bah. Alrighty. You're the one missing out. I'll have them all for myself, then. Cassandra Watergate posted on April 12th, 2016. Ooh la la, wee oui, wee, oui, non. Having an amazing shopping tour with my Mary, the best friend of all times, lesson three. But you should really consider paying a visit to your hairstylist soon, darling. I don't know what McCree sounds like from Overwatch, I'm sorry. I'm gonna say that she's still friends with her just so we can throw Mary under the bus, too. I think I'm missing, missing the, uh, the moral here. How sweet. Mm. Well, this is what happens when you do my hair. Oh, you bitch. Okay. Inviting to the activist group. An activist group? Is there anything more specific? Fuck off. Cassandra shall be known to the world as Cassarthus. An alias name. You know people on the web. So many names. So many identities. He's really getting off on this. Oh, so many names. So many identities. It's always good to record every alias. Then we can match data chunks to the persons whenever they're using them. Anyway. Session. Joseph Langley. Hey, did you hear about the Freedom Plaza bombing? Yeah, don't remind me. You know, I have a history with that place. Already fucking me up, even that I ha enough that I have to catch a bus from there every day. Too many bad memories, and now I was there just moments before this happened. Ah, oh, I should have never gone to that damn protest. Darling, you don't need to justify yourself to anybody, especially not to me. I was so happy when Goldfells accepted me into thought. I was desperately wanted to go to prove my worth to the cause. Think of it this way. If you would not have gone to the protests, then you would never have been wrongfully indicted, and then we would have never met. Yeah, and I would not have been called a terrorist in all the papers. You are not a terrorist, okay? Ain't I? You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But this is awkward. Such awkward flirting. Oh, damn it. What? Your card's not working here. Can't buy anything. Have you gone bankrupt or something? Unless she went on a serious shopping spree, there should be plenty of money on there. I guess I'll have to go without wine then. Uh. Come on, Joseph. Hurry it up. Here's the thing. What? What the fuck? Whoa. <laughs> Here's the thing, I've got an important appointment tonight. It's surprisingly out of schedule and I can't postpone it. You gotta be kidding me! I'm very sorry, darling. We'll see each other tomorrow. You always have an appointment! 
one. Appointment here, a appointment there, appointment every fucking where. How can you constantly do this to me? Darling, please just calm down. Have you taken your methrin? Yes, damn it! Is the only thing that matters to you that I'm on fucking happy pills all day? Darling, please, it's nothing like that and you know it. So I keep my mouth shut whenever you leave me hanging. If I don't show up at this appointment, I risk losing a very important client. Fine. Don't you understand that? I think the rebel group really is called thought. Oh no, I totally understand. Don't you risk losing that very important client of yours now? Cassie, don't be like that. I get it. I guess I'm just not an important client anymore. Oh, come on, Cassie. Going home now in case I'm getting up on that priority list of yours anytime soon. Please. Please. I don't, I don't know how... What kind of please is that? Please. 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 I really enjoyed the typos here. That was fun. That was fun. How does it start? Again? Whatever. You accidentally say you hugged me. Oh, you touched my hands for stupid reasons. You accidentally say you hugged me. I hate you! I hate you more! Whoa, whoa, whoa. More than anything in this damn world! More than a spider. Anyway, okay. Have you taken your methrin? What's this methrin? Can you please look that up for me? Weren't you? Oh, you weren't here. I forgot, Zombies. I'm sorry. You weren't here. Thought. An activist group called Thought. Interesting. Maybe this is what influenced her. And who is Goldfeld? We should find something that shows her current attitude and see if we're following the right person. She has to catch the bus from there every day. Meaning her presence there before the bombing could be coincidence after all. I'll reserve my thoughts until you find more evidence. Aw, oh, we may not be throwing her under the bus. I shouldn't have added that. Damn. Goldfells. Must be Harrison at all. I see. Um... Where's the products? Methrin, antidepressant. Pets? Oh, Ashes, what the hell are you doing? Stop scratching the chair. What the hell's wrong with you? Huh. huh. I wonder if her as adverse attitude towards the assault is actually worth anything. Perhaps emotions were high. She's reliant on this medication. Looking at what you've extracted so far, we're dealing with a potentially dangerous personality. I will indicate that to law enforcement. Oh, shit. Achievement unlocked. Okay. Overview. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord! If liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear, George Orwell. The thoughts are free. The thought overview. Welcome to the thought blog. Pick an entry below. Oh. <laughs> Waiting on the bus in the rain. In the rain. Waiting on the bus in the rain. Waiting on the bus in the rain. In the rain. If the bus don't come. Then... Published by Casarthus. Freedom is unfree. Freedom is unfree. It's camps. Camps everywhere. Even at the Freedom Plaza. Is it just me? Or is that more than just a little bit, I don't know, ironic? Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? It's like rain on your wedding day. A free ride when you've already paid. Oh. <sighs> You probably all know me. I'm really tired of doing this voice. I can't wait till we really throw her under a bus. You probably all know me as either that blue-haired punk bitch, stupid cunt, or anti-governmental terrorist. I'm going to get banned for saying cunt. 
These are only some of the names I've been called during the criminal investigation against me. That was just because in the middle of the chaos, someone believed to, ha believed to have seen me hurt a police officer. It never even occurred to anybody that it wasn't me. We were there because we wanted a peaceful protest. We have always been against violence. Oh. One would assume Hmm. One would assume that in an age where there are cams everywhere, it should be easy to prove whether I was at all involved or not. But it wasn't. It took weeks of investigative custody to figure out that the cam footage was actually not clearly showing anything at all. Which raises the question, why are there so many cams in the first place? The answer is intimidation only. You keep calm, quiet, and careful when there are cameras around. Or you fear that there are cameras where you cannot see. When founding this blog years ago, Abraham predicted pretty much all of this for all of the web. And now it's in our real lives, too. We have been brought to the Freedom Memorial since we were kids at school. And we were told lavish tales about the founders of the nation, told to show national pride. And I know what you're thinking now. This thing is damn ugly. What is that donut, even? Let the let freedom ring? But... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> let freedom bring donut. <laughs> statement <laughs> behind this ridiculously enormous heap of stones should be clear. In the middle of the capital, there is a symbol of freedom. Comprehensible symbolism for any everyone, isn't it? With the cameras there, this is now the plaza of unfreedom, if anything at all. I'm gonna go back to the main page, though. And just do this. Read them all. Article is private. Fuck that. Are they all... All of them? Okay, fine. Because Arthas. We already know. Alright. Back. My thoughts still free. Published in March 2012 by Goldfells. So Goldfells is Abraham. Something. That looks like an Abraham. The bow tie really sells it. I propose to consider the question, are our thoughts still free? While this might seem to be a surprising question in our current world of ever-growing digital surveillance, freedom of thought is no longer self-evident. Dear reader, there's a German folk song called The Thoughts of Free. It goes like this. Oh, I wish they'd put it in German. Maybe they did like now. <sighs> Die Gedanken sind frei. Yeah. Thoughts are free. Who can guess them? They fly by like nocturnal shadows. No man can know them. No hunter can shoot them with power and lead. Thoughts are free. I think what I want and what delights me, still always reticent, and as it is suitable. My wish and desire no one can deny me, and so it will always be. Thoughts are free. If I'm thrown into the darkest dungeon, all these are futile works. Because my thoughts tear all gates and walls apart. Thoughts are free. They, he didn't translate that well, like in terms of rhythm and, and rhyme and meter or whatever. Damn. When I was still young, long before I immigrated to the nation in 1993, I believed this to be a universal truth, that there are no borders for thoughts and no rules for what is or what is not allowed to be thought. This is not because I thought people should be so tolerant, not at all. Instead, I simply held it dear that nobody except for ourselves really knows what is going on in our heads until we chose to reveal it. 
Yesterday a question crossed my mind. The increasing interconnectedness of humans via modern technology serves more and more as collective memory and brain of our society, and there is an institution that is capable of monitoring every bitstream of it. How can thought still be free? It is, is it not likely that we will communicate only under great mental reservation to hold on to our knowledge, which means, as a final consequence, that we will stop thinking? When I think of the increasingly aggressive operations of the surveillance machinery in the nation, I truly fear that the answer to this question, the answer to this question, that is why I created this blog. I want to encourage alternatives to the total control and safety bigotry of the digital world. Yours sincerely, A. Goldfells. Three comments. Abraham Mustache. Mm, I'm trying to think of a voice for a man with a brain head. Mm. Hey, Goldfells. Interesting name, by the way. Just stumbled upon your new blog, and that's some truth you tell here. The web was born in the sense of the ultimate freedom to be who you want to be, express yourself, wasn't it? Now the gov has come to threaten this with real name policies and shit. Save your IP so they can look up who you are. So don't say anything wrong, possibly. About time someone did something. Well, if you don't have one before you just gained yourself your first follower. Frankly, I'm surprised to find someone here at all. I thought nobody would ever find this blog at all. Thank you very much for your kind words, and yes, I am very delighted to have a first follower. Hello, Woodman. I like your things, too. Could you one but now even more? What? To get a service on search engine optimization independent. Others get clicks and more money for you. Now use. That's funny. It's spam. At mailerate.tna. Goldfells. Oh, I guess that was a different guess. All guests sound like that. That's how we have. That's just the guest voice. <laughs> Bad New Yorker accent is the guest voice. <laughs> Hello, admin. Okay, but where is the conflicting information? How do I... Because I had this. That. Unknown data chunk. Fine. Back to Cassandra's timeline. What's new? Oh. Ha! Finally, someone who had the grit and explosives to show how futile surveillance is. Okay, we're, I'm, uh, I'm showing, I'm throwing her under the bus still, right? So, there we go. I suspected as much. Seems like we're looking at the right person. Ha 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 ha! Throwing her under the bus! Yes! Alright. <laughs> Alright, what we found so far is all good and interesting, but I think we should be searching for something a little more concrete. We have to dig deeper. <laughs> oh, no, not more. Juliet Carrington. Wait, which one? Should, she was the high-pitched... Valley girl, right? Hey, Cassie! Hi, Jules. Cassie, I just wanted to know... Your post on timelines about this assault? You really shouldn't write something like that. Really, Jules? You're not gonna preach to me about the stupid post, are you? No! I just wanted to know what's wrong, Cassie. It's nothing. Just between the two of us. I just had to let off steam, you know? It's because of what happened, isn't it? Yeah, and lots of other shit today. This bombing stirred up all this crap again, you know? What I did. What happened there wasn't your fault. What she did. Cassie, you heard that officer to save me, and you succeeded. You mustn't forget about that. That was so brave. 
How could it not have been my fault? Julia, I smashed the freaking skull of a father of two children because I lost it. Fuck, fuck, for cuck. You know what would have happened if you hadn't stopped him? And this is why you should really remove this post. I feel like an asshole, the worst kind of asshole. I might not be free. I might be free, but not rightly so. I'm not innocent. Oh, Cassie, nobody's innocent. You have to let go. Ha ah, ha, cannoli. Ha ah, ha ha ha. Hey, Goldfells. Leave the cannoli. You're not looking at chat, are you? No, I'm not looking at chat. I'm looking at the other chat. The chat on the screen. This chat. Chat chat. So should I... Am I still throwing her entirely under the bus? Should I do mid, midway under the bus? Or all the way under the bus? I think, like, the delay is really big. Like, super big. I don't know how big the delay is, but I, like, you, like, respond to stuff on my chat, on my phone, like, a gazillion years after I say anything. Let's see. When will it happen? When will you reply? No, don't know what rhyme with happen. I don't have another line. I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. Lloyd, 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 what's the fuck? Little punch ball. Is the delay really this big? This is like the most massive delay in the world. Holy shit. Or are you fucking with me? Did you even hear when I asked a question? Am I just timing this like for no reason at all? Lloyd. Lloyd. Chat, 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 chat. Wow. That's, um, that's some delay right there. Midway. Just midway under the bus. All right. What? Where did that come from now? This is perfect. We can arrest her and open the investigation again. However, we probably won't be able to hold her for long if it really happened in defense of this Juliet. Yeah, the delay is usually like 15 to 30 seconds. I don't know if it's me or... I even have it on the reduced delay setting on Twitch. So I don't know what's going on tonight. Thank God I don't have a lot of people I'm trying to interact with in my damn chat. Good lord. Very good work. Ashes, stop that. Why? No. No. Very good work. The in intervention team is already on its way. We'll need to wait for confirmation. Next stop, Wonderland, right? Just kidding. Next time, be careful with providing the wrong data, though, okay? In Miss Watergate's case, it was not a problem to get her address with the help of the local police due to her former record. What if I don't want to provide the right address later? Is she chatting? Chatting to her arrest? <laughs> you'll you'll see when I I mean you'll you'll really see. This is this is the longest delay in the world. I, I'm typing, damn it. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god. I'm um I'm gonna restart the stream again. Ha <laughs> ha 